be the bubble tea. How are you feeling? Tired? Yeah, me too. Don't they look so good? There's no Muppets Christmas Carol. Does anyone else's dog do this? My current nighttime skincare routine. <laughs> Not an anal bead, a bubble tea. Good morning. What a uh, 24 hours. What? The what? The bead shop. Yeah, what for? What? No. I oh my God. Who for then? Oh my God. God, it's just, do you know what? When I, when I thought I'm gonna do Vlogmas 2020, I thought it would be a bit different. I thought it would be a little less festive. Can't do what we normally do. Can't see people we normally see in the way that we normally see them. However, I did not think uh, I would be spending days um, rushing my dog out the door because she has explosive diarrhea. There's someone on our driveway. I think your mum's here. Yes, your dad. Oh God, Nala's gonna get excited and shit everywhere. Hello. <laughs> anyway, they must be dropping something off. I did not think that, uh, that Vlogmas would take such a turn, but do you know what? That's life. That's what all the people say. And this is just my life, isn't it? If I'm gonna be vlogging when I can, then this is just what it's been. Yesterday was a day of literally feeding Nala, taking Nala out, wiping Nala down, giving her medication just on repeat over and over again and so trying to sleep. Happy you're gonna be. What? Close your eyes. Oh my god, what? What mum and dad just bought us, put your hands out, keep your eyes closed. Oh my god. Shut up, is it is it turkey twizzlers? Giant fish fingers. <laughs> Why do I think it was turkey twizzlers? <gasps> we were gonna have a fish finger sandwich. That's what I just said to them. <gasps> oh my god, they are huge! <laughs> I need to put these in the freezer. Say thank you! No, it smells like shit. That said it smells Christmassy on our driveway. I said no, it smells like shit. Ah, oh, that was nice. Would you mind putting them in the freezer, Al? What was I saying? I knew Vlogmas would be a bit different this year, but I didn't realise um, that it would just be looking after a poorly dog. <laughs> so, I'm sorry if this is not the vision of Vlogmas you had, but hopefully she starts feeling a little bit better soon. Went to the vets this morning and she had her second bandage removed. So she's now got a much looser bandage. I think more just like dressing and her little foot is out the end now. She still needs to wear the boot outside and obviously her stomach is still not great. In fact, she shat in the little car seat that I bought her on the way home. So that was, that was good. We'll see, we'll see how today goes. I can't promise you it'll be the longest vlog. I can't promise you I'll end it. <laughs> but I'm gonna give it my best shot. I'm still in good spirits. I know that she'll feel better. Um, she's on the chicken and rice. She's fine. She's fine in herself. Um, it's just her stomach is not fine at all. So, so yeah, we need to go back to the vets at some point next week to get that bandage changed. Um, but her leg is healing really well, which is great news. And we're almost halfway to Christmas and that makes me very excited. In the comments, I want you to tell me one positive thing about your day today. Something that made you smile, something that turned the day around. Let's watch the holiday. Such a classic. Uh, how are you feeling? <laughs> She's got purple this time. Purple with a little blue heart. And there's her foot. I forgot what that looked like. How are you feeling? Tired? Yeah, me too. It's such a nice afternoon. 
it's literally perfect for going out and having a little walk which is what I said I wanted to do the other day but I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that so also I half did my makeup before going to the vets so I put my brows on did some skincare like the most basic um not skincare um like foundation and then I just left the rest so I look a bit odd I might put some mascara and some lipstick on um but I've come up because I ordered these frames and I'm going to put my Poppy Days prints into the frames so I can put them up. If you haven't seen, Poppy is selling some hand, oh I'm scared, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm scared I'm gonna rip them. I'm gonna put them in the frames, but she's selling two designs and they're hand printed in Brighton and they are gorgeous. I love them, this one's my favorite one. Um, but this one is equally very cool. They look great together. Right, I'm going to put them in frames and I can show you properly when I'm done. There we go. So there's this one that says come together, which every time I look at it I sing the, is it the Beatles song? Come together, that one. <laughs> and then this one that says voila. And this one's in like a dark navy and a pink. And then there's like this really lovely cream. They're also signed, oh, three of 130. Lovely. Thank you, Poppy. So if you are looking for a lovely nice quality print or somebody you know might like one for Christmas then I will leave a link below so you can go on over and check them out. I think any orders after today or tomorrow as you're watching this won't get shipped until the 7th of January so make sure if you are interested you do it now because I don't want you to miss out, they're really lovely. Now I just have to work out where I want to put them. Do I put them on this wall above the bed? I chickened out. I was like, I'm never gonna be able to get that straight. I'm gonna absolutely ruin it. I don't have the time or patience or brain power today. So I've popped them on the fireplace, but don't they look so good? So because of the time of year, we have a lot of packages and things arriving and they're all sort of being left unopened because they're either things that Alfie's ordered and said, don't open it, or things I've ordered and said to Alfie, don't open it. However, I placed an order on Amazon for a new puzzle board, which I think I mentioned the other day, and I can only assume that it's this ginormous box. So I'm just gonna take it into here and see. I mean, I don't know what size puzzle board I've ordered. I don't know why it would be in this, but we shall see. It was my puzzle board. It's quite big, but I think it's for a thousand pieces and this puzzle is a thousand pieces, so it makes sense. I wanted something that I could do a puzzle on and move it around and zip it up and like slide it under the sofa when I'm not actually doing it. It's quite a nice one. <laughs> Lovely little Christmas present for someone if they're into puzzles. Honestly, this just makes me look like such a puzzle noob. <laughs> I could take my puzzles to people's houses when we're allowed. <laughs> Can you imagine? I haven't seen you for like months and you haven't been around my house for so long and you brought your fecking puzzle. <laughs> oh, this is fancy. I feel like I'm back in um, sixth form doing A-level art. That's what these folders remind me of. This is lovely. Wow. Okay, so I assume you do it on this, and then you can just place these on top, and then it sort of sticks on. <laughs> Lovely jubbly. I better get cracking on my Christmas puzzle later then. I'm gonna do a little tidy up of the living room because it's really bothering me that it just doesn't feel fresh because I've been sat in here with Nala for like two days and it just needs a bit of a spruce up. 
that's what I'm gonna do now. I flipping love a tidying and cleaning time lapse. So I hope that this gives you the pep in your step that you need to tidy that thing that you've been putting off. her chicken and rice meals and I've just noticed that she's doing this does anyone else's dog do this she's fishing out all the chicken and spitting out all the rice I see what you're doing she didn't do this earlier which may be a sign that she's not feeling as peaky because clearly she thinks she can be fussy that is a waste Nala that's supposed to make your tummy better. Look, she's spitting the rice out. <gasps> anyway, I'm gonna leave her to spit rice everywhere because that's gonna take her a while. <laughs> and look how much nicer the living room looks. Ta-da! Oh, just so much nicer. Oh, the holiday's finished. Um, still need to sort of tackle a bit of down there. We need to put this chair somewhere. This chair was where the Christmas tree was, but I think we need to move it into the conservatory, but it smells so fresh. And look, when we popped into the shop earlier to get Nala some more chicken and rice, I picked up the Radio Times. I'm so excited for this. I love just sitting down and flicking through and seeing what's on. Let's go to Christmas Eve. Is the Muppet Christmas Carol on on Christmas Eve? Because that is my Christmas Eve film. Bake Off. Elf. Great film. Um, <gasps> this is brilliant. I'm actually working with Sky um, on this um, Christmas special. This is not part of the ad, but I've already watched it. And let me tell you, it is so cosy and so feel good and has the most incredible cast. It's Dawn French, um, Alison Steadman, Rob Brydon, um, just incredible. You have to watch it. And the little boy that plays Rold is so adorable. So that is on Sky at 8.15 on Christmas Eve. I'm going to make all of Alfie's family sit down and watch this because <laughs> I know they will also love it. Um, Gavin and Stacey... Last year's special is on again. There was a tiny part of me then that was like, is that a new one? No. Paddington 2, great film. Got The Snowman, The Snowman and the Snow Dog on Father Christmas. Classic on Channel 4, they always play those. A Christmas Carol. Oh, maybe they don't have it this year. Damn it. It'll be on some channel. Oh, there's a pantomime. Cinderella, a comic relief pantomime for Christmas. Love that. Junior Bake Off, can I just say... Junior Bake Off is almost as good as the actual Bake Off. I love it. I get really sad for them though. Oh, my battery's flashing. Must hurry. Call the Midwife. Oh my God, I'm so excited to watch the Call the Midwife special. It's gonna be incredible. Um, Annie, Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. I have to tell Tanya that's on. <laughs> Jason and the Argonauts. It's one of Joe's favorite films as a kid. I wish I could just use the search bar to find specific things even though i know i can just pull it up on like amazon or i think i've actually already downloaded it but it's just different when you watch it on the tv i say this all the time there's no muppets christmas carol i mean there's a lot of great things on though oh, cool i'm so excited for that can't wait cannot wait does anybody else like to sit and go through this Get the highlighters out. Cross cross through what you want to watch. She's still bloody going. <laughs> Why have you left that? After Nala's accident in the car, I came down and did a huge wash load. Ah, oh, there we go. Right. 
blanket, car seat. Okay, tumble dryer is on. <laughs> Hello, you're not allowed down here. Not with your leg. Our stair pile is getting annoying. So I'm gonna, oh wow, look at the sun. <gasps> it's such a nice evening. So I'm gonna clear this. And I feel like the motivation of it being filmed is gonna make me finish it rather than just do a little bit and then leave the rest. So I'm gonna try and do this now. I've still got my hat on. I've literally had it on all day. Is there just any better feeling than when you feel like everything is in its place and it just feels tidy? Look. Got BFG on the TV. I love this film. Nala's chilling by the fire. I am totally zen right now. I just have to try not to fall asleep. <laughs> Running myself a little bath, now that Alfie's back, he's on Nala watch. And I thought it would be quite nice to end today's video by doing my current nighttime skincare routine. I'm not gonna lie, it doesn't change an awful lot. I have been enjoying quite a few different products, but they're all quite similar in what they do um, and where in my routine I use them. So, I thought I would share with you what I'm currently doing in an evening or I guess it varies slightly if I've been wearing makeup and I do have a little bit on also just realized I was gonna come up here and put on more makeup today and that just never happened oh well but I do still have a little bit on so I like to do a good old double cleanse and I'm gonna do a double cleanse before I get in the bath and then I think once I get out the bath I will continue with my skincare routine and then share with you what it is that I'm using the product that I've been using recently to remove my makeup is this. It's the Glow Recipe. There we go. It's the Glow Recipe Papaya Sorbet Enzyme Cleansing Balm. And as you can see, I'm so nearly out. In fact, I reckon once I've taken this off, it's gonna be gone. Okay, that'll do. Got that much. So I do, I reckon I've still got one more go. <laughs> um, and then I'll just pop that. Over my dry face, massage it on. I don't have mascara on today, but it does remove mascara really well. The mascara I use actually, one of the reasons that I love it so much is that when it gets wet, it comes off in like clumps. If I've ever accidentally left it on at night, oops, and I jump in the shower the next day and I've forgotten that I've got it on and I'm like getting my face completely wet and like rubbing my eyes, I don't have like the streams of black down my face. Um, it just sort of clumps up and then you could just wipe it off. It's really like no other mascara I've ever used in that sense, um, but I do love it. But this cleanser gets it off really well. Okay, now that I've completely covered my face in cleanser. I'm gonna grab my flannel, get it wet, and then wipe it off. One thing I do have to make sure with this cleanser is that I take it off my eyes properly. If I ever leave any around my eyes, it makes my eyes a bit watery. There we go. Right. Step one, done. Step two, I use my Foreo and I get it a bit wet. And then I've been using my Oskia Renaissance Cleansing Gel. And I just do a couple of pumps on the end of the Foreo. My second cleanse, I vary a lot. So I'll either use the Oscar Renaissance, I'll use the Kate Somerville Je Delicate Soothing Cleanser quite a lot. I also love the Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser. 
Cle I feel like cleansers is one thing that I do change up. So I will change up my makeup removing cleanser and I'll change up my like skin cleansing cleanser um, quite often. Depending on what I feel like my skin needs, whether I feel like it needs a little bit more hydration or whether my makeup is heavier than other days, I'll use something like a lot more hardcore. Okay, so once I've got that a bit wet, definitely just flicked some somewhere. I'm just going to turn it on and go for it. Done. Then I give it a rinse and splash my face and get this off. one and two done i've picked quite possibly the worst day to do this because i am so tired <laughs> i look like maybe the lighting's not doing me many favors no i think i am just that tired so now i've fully cleansed my face i feel that i can get in the bath and if my face sweats a bit i might like splash it and wash it again when i get out but i will get back to you once i've had my bath out the bath and I'm now gonna do the rest of my skincare so I think I'm gonna use this toner this is the allies of skin Mole molecular molecular savior probiotics repair mist and I'm just gonna pop that on a cotton pad give it a little swipe over there we go now I'm gonna use my trusty um, Mandelic Pigmentation Corrector Night Serum. This is also Allies of Skin. Two pumps of that. Get it on. I love this stuff. So good. I don't know if you can see that, but it always leaves like quite a glow to the skin. I'm gonna pop an eye cream on. This is the, whoops, this is the Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream. Just to put a little bit under here. My skin's a little bit drier than normal at the moment, so I'm trying to remember to keep it moisturized under the old eyes. Okay. Now I'm gonna use this. This is PSA's Midnight Courage Oil. It has rosehip and bacuchial retinol. Just a couple of drops of that. And that is all I'm gonna do in terms of skincare tonight. Um, might also put my Charlotte Tilbury lip oil on because my lips are also very dry at the moment. Um, but, Besides that, I'm done. I am fresh and ready for bed. Um, I think I'm gonna go down and finish watching Strictly. And I think then I'm gonna get an early night because I've been up since 4.50 and I haven't shut my eyes at all today. <laughs> when I was in the bath, I was like, oh my God, I could just sleep in here. Um, so I really hope you've enjoyed today. Bit of a slow, casual day, but I still feel like I got a lot done. Still had a great day and I hope you enjoyed watching. Good night.